I understand people that struggle. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. So many people do. We live in a very weakened society. So when they hear a throwback guy like me from back in the ancient days of, <laughs> of Garanimals, they often think this guy is just whatever. So if you think that I'm some unhappy guy, you're wrong. Having lived the life I've lived and seeing the other side, not being afraid to attack what was in front of me has made me happy. Basically, I just don't walk around with a dad going to smile on my face all the damn time. So, you know, Merry Christmas. But, um, but basically, what the dark side is, is we all have a cookie jar and we all have a jar of f <laughs> That's its official name. It's a jar of f man, where sh just, it just ain't going right. And in Hell Week, what they do in Hell Week, because this is where I really went to the dark side. What they do in Hell Week is they design Hell Week to find your flaws. And they do a really good job of that. It's 130 hours of continuous training. You may get two hours of sleep. And they beat the sh out of you and find everything wrong with your mentality. And then they start Hell Week. And that's the beauty of it. If you've never had anything mm -hmm. like today, I would go, okay, I'm selling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give up the house. Right. You know, but if you don't have the house, you don't have anything, and then you're just sitting there and you go, okay. Uh, I wrote this for myself, and I don't even know if it's that good, but if it, if obviously someone likes it, I'll regret it. I know I'll regret it. And I, and you know, I bet I say it once a week. I walk around and I say, thank God. Really? Like, all, all the time. All the time. It's like you did one thing right. In life, you can do a thousand things wrong. You just do one thing right. You go, whew. Wow. It makes up for the other 999 mistakes sometimes. And for me, I'm not some not, you know, nasty guy giving guy. You know, I, I don't have a great bit of talent in anything. So what got me through horrible times was the dark side. Was I created, my name is David Goggins. I created Goggins. Goggins is the guy that can take anything you put in front of him. You want to break my legs? So be it. I have a way of going to a place like I did in that race where all the pain and suffering that they put on top of me in Hell Week, I will reverse that pain and suffering and I will take your soul. So every instructor that put me through Budge, my job, what drove me was I wanted you to go home that night after you beat the living shit out of me and I smiled in your face. I wanted you to feel worse than I did and you were going home to a nice warm bed with your wife or your kids and a nice meal and I was still out there in the grip suffering for another hundred hours. I wanted you to think about me knowing that I'm comfortable being very uncomfortable. And I want you to think about when you went through hell week, how uncomfortable you were and how bad you wanted to quit, knowing I'm not thinking that way. So the dark side is something that I've designed. It's an evil place I can go that very few things can hurt me. I use the hurt you're trying to put on me. I flip it upside down and use it you trying to use it for kryptonite? No. It's power pellets for me. I'm, I'm using it for strength. I just flip negative into positive. That's all it is. When I found some place in my country and a lady answered the telephone, I then asked, to whom am I speaking? She said, you're speaking to me. <laughs> I said, well, lady, I know I'm speaking to you, but what's your name? She said, who are you to ask for my name? What's your name? I say, well, lady, as soon as you tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. But as we argued as to who should tell his or her name, she became very cross. And she said, you seem to be a backward person. Have you passed your matric? Now my trick in our country is a university entry examination. 
And I said, well, lady, you must be very careful. Because if the qualification to speak to you is the possession of a matric certificate, I might work hard and pass my matric and be in the same class as you are. That was treason. She said, you will never be in my class and bang the telephone. <laughs> How I wish she were here today. She would now discover that I have achieved more than pass my matric. Everybody that's successful lays a blueprint out. You laid the blueprint out. Uh, you know, I can go down a list from comedians to actors to entrepreneurs to mm -hmm. self-made moguls. You look at Russell Simmons, you look at Jay-Z, you yeah. look at Tyler Perry, you look at Puff. Uh, I mean, you're looking at people that start off with a small vision and that vision manifested into something beyond expectation. So what I did was, from the people around me, my mentors, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Pryor, yeah. Um, Who are all on the walls. All on the walls. Yeah. All on the walls. So you surround um, yourself with I that. Surra I surround myself with a constant reminder of who's great. Constantly. I come down these steps every day. I look at Richard. Yo, he's great. I see Eddie. He was great. I see Chris Rock. He was great. I, it's a constant reminder. What am I trying to achieve? I want to be great. So yeah. that motivates me. So the thing that separates me is my drive. My drive is other people's success.